This is Fab with Stems Grow. Today we're here with another video for the science of bubbles. The last time we were together we made a square bubble and today we're going to make an unpoppable bubble. First let's remember what we learned from the last video. We remember that a soap bubble is formed because water molecules are trapped in between soap molecules that the soap molecules um, will reduce the surface tension of the water and it stabilizes the bubble. The surface tension is that attraction in the molecules within a liquid that's sort of allowing it to behave like an elastic sheath. We consider this the Marangoni effect. So when you have two different surface tensions, the soap having a lower surface tension than the water, you're getting sort of a net force of lower surface tension to a region of higher surface tension and that's creating your bubble to last longer. Uh, without that soap, a bubble of pure water would just pop. So that soap is allowing that uh, bubble to last. Eventually that bubble will pop. What causes a bubble to pop is, is the evaporation of the water, because remember the water molecules are in between the soap molecules. Eventually that water will evaporate. Um, bubbles could also pop because you might hit a dry surface, um, and it might also pop because of air turbulence, so just, just being disrupted by wind. So what we're going to do is we're going to change our soap recipe to make that surface tension of the bubble stronger so that it lasts longer. This recipe is for the unpoppable bubble we call a bubble in a bubble. So I'm going to put my sugar in first, two tablespoons of my dishwashing soap, and I need a cup of water. I do have water here, but because I want to dissolve the sugar rather fast, I'm going to do hot water instead, or at least mix some of that water with hot water. So a little fun fact is that hot water dissolves sugar faster than cold water. And it is because the hot water has more energy. Those molecules are moving around much faster, and so they're getting in contact with the sugar a little more often, a little quicker. So you actually dissolve your sugar faster in hotter water. So that's going to be now. Extra items we're going to need is a plate to do our work on. And I also have my straw my, uh, that I use as my bubble wand. But you can use any bubble wand you want. So remember we said that a bubble could pop on a dry surface. So we don't want this surface to be dry. So I'm going to actually take some of this soapy water and kind of rub it around my plate and give a nice slippery surface so this way that bubble isn't going to pop just because it hits a dry surface. And remember this recipe is a little different than the last one we used. It's got the sugar in it. Sugar should make these bubbles stronger than the last bubbles we made. So I'm just dipping in my wand or my straw and I'm going to make a big bubble in this plate. Well, I was finally able to get three, be it smaller, I was trying for four. You can actually see three bubbles. For the next unpoppable bubble, instead of sugar, we're going to use corn syrup. So we're going to make a new recipe. Distilled water sometimes helps with these types of bubbles because without minerals in the water, like you might have in tap water or bottled water, um, you would have a better quality bubble. Uh, I'm going to use one-fourth of 
cup of corn syrup, and then a half a cup of dish soap. The next item I'm going to need, you could use microfiber gloves. I have these uh, soft winter gloves. We're going to wear gloves when we handle this unpoppable bubble because the oils, the natural oils in our hands uh, could actually disrupt that surface tension of the bubble and pop it before we want it to. So let's go ahead and make this new recipe. Definitely a thicker feeling in this liquid. So I'm going to take some time to mix it, make it even. Put on my gloves. Get my wand. Let's see if we can get a unpoppable bubble. It bounces. Well, I got one bounce out of it. Let's see if I can do better. It's going to eventually pop. The water is going to eventually evaporate. Maybe it'll hit my glove a little too hard. But for the most part, that's a pretty strong bubble. And there you have it, the unpoppable bubble.